springtime in California. This year, 35 professional cycling teams from around the world have descended upon Sacramento. Riding amongst the World Tour teams at the Amgen Tour of California are Rally UHC Cycling, a pro-continental team just one step below the coveted World Tour ranking. With a team full of young talent, the team is poised to make their mark on the world stage. I think for this year's Amgen Tour of California, we're really hoping to have an excellent result in the general classification. Last year we were seventh overall with Brandon McNulty, and we're, we're hoping to improve on that. We'd really like to see a top five, if not a top three. You know, outside of that, racing aggressively and looking for stage wins or potentially an uh, opportunity to take the KOM jersey or something like that. The best way to describe it is just the traveling circus. You know, it's the, the same show, different parking lot every time. We get here, we know our role, hopefully everything goes smooth, there's no, nothing uh, goes missing during the travel. I think the seven riders we brought here, they've had a really, really good mix of the international competition and also a little bit of home time to hit the reset button train and prepare specifically for this race. Further down the California coast in Ventura, the Rally UHC Cycling women's team prepare for the start of the women's race. All the riders and staff have arrived for their most important race of the year. The riders will race over three demanding stages in the Southern California heat. We were a really young team, and so it's really cool to watch us like bump up. It used to be kind of like, hey, let's see if we can all survive the race, and it's like, let's engage the race. Now it's like, let's win this damn race. The way the women's race is organized, you know, you definitely have to have a really, really good day on the Mount Baldy stage. And, and uh, we don't want to we don't want to mortgage opportunities in the rest of the race. Just focusing on that in case things don't come together. But we're realistic that we can we can do well in, in every day that that we take the start here. Tour of California really is kind of like if I were to have a home race, this would be it. You know, I love coming back here. I love the race. I love the fans, the courses. I think I probably have the most experience on the road. I guess I'm the oldest guy on the team now at this race. So I certainly take the the role and the responsibility like very seriously to help pilot these guys to the best possible result we can get for the team. And then within that, I mean, I don't plan on just sitting back and like taking it easy and kind the shots on the sidelines. I want to be in it until the very end and like be part of the bike race. This race is really special to me, actually, because I was second on a stage and third on a stage. It was a really big deal to be a part of the race and I was able to see the people I looked up to when I was a junior. This is definitely a race that I personally have wanted to do for a really long time. It's kind of like the holy grail for American bike racers. Playing it safe is stay in North America, do the North American races that we're familiar with, avoid the travel and the jet lag, avoid the potential of getting sick while traveling, and just control everything and do training a training camp leading up to California. The big challenge racing against these World Tour teams is these guys have 30, 30 days of you know super heavy duty European racing under their legs when they come over here and start California and it's hard as a North American team to compete against that. But now our guys are starting to get that level of racing in their legs. As the riders of Rally UHC Cycling settle in for their biggest race of the year, the support staff is hard at work making sure the riders are comfortable. With 700 miles ahead of them, they'll need all the help they can get. 